Imagine this, you wake up one morning, the sun gently pouring through your window, and for the first time in a long time, you feel a sense of peace. Nothing has changed in the external world. The bills are still there. The challenges you've been facing haven't magically disappeared, but something inside you has shifted. Instead of focusing on what's lacking in your life, you find yourself focusing on what's already good. It's subtle, but it's profound. You take a deep breath. And in that moment, you feel a wave of gratitude. Not for something extraordinary that just happened, but for the simple things, the breath you just took, the warmth of the sunlight, the opportunity to experience another day. This small shift, this change in focus, has the power to transform everything. In today's video, we're diving deep into one of the most transformative principles Neville Goddard ever taught, gratitude is everything. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand why gratitude is such a powerful force in manifesting your dreams, but you'll also learn practical ways to apply it to your life in a way that creates real, tangible results. And make sure to stay until the end, because I'll be sharing something extraordinary about gratitude that could change the way you manifest forever. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Let me start by sharing a story, one that might feel familiar to you. There was a young woman, let's call her Mia. Mia was like many of us, constantly chasing after her dreams but feeling like she was always coming up short. No matter how hard she worked, how many affirmations she repeated, or how many goals she set, she couldn't seem to catch a break. She wanted success in her career, a loving relationship, and financial freedom. But every time she thought she was getting close, something would pull her back. She felt stuck, frustrated, and exhausted. The more she focused on what she didn't have, the worse she felt. One evening, feeling particularly low, she stumbled upon Neville Goddard's teachings on gratitude. He spoke of gratitude not just as a polite gesture, but as the very key to unlocking the life you want. He said, gratitude is not just a feeling, it's a state of being. When you are truly grateful, you align yourself with abundance. You shift from a mindset of lack to one of abundance, and in doing so, you open the door for more blessings to flow into your life. Something about that resonated deeply with Mia. She realized that she had been focusing entirely on what was missing, on the things she didn't have, and in doing so, she was creating more lack in her life. She decided to try something new. That night, before bed, instead of mentally replaying all the things that were going wrong, she took a moment to express gratitude for the things that were going right. It wasn't easy at first, she had to dig deep, but she found small things, a comfortable bed, her health, the ability to breathe, the fact that she had made it through another day. As she whispered these simple gratitudes to herself, she felt something shift inside her. For the first time in weeks, she felt at peace. Over the next few days, Mia continued this practice. Each morning before she even got out of bed, she mentally listed three things she was grateful for. And before she fell asleep at night, she did the same. Slowly, something remarkable began to happen. It wasn't that her external circumstances changed overnight, her job was still challenging, her relationship status was still the same, but her perspective changed. She started noticing the good things more often. She began to feel lighter, more hopeful. And then, seemingly out of nowhere, opportunities started to appear. She was offered a project at work that she had never thought possible. She met someone new who made her heart skip a beat. She even found unexpected financial relief when she received a refund check from an overpayment she hadn't known about. It was as if her entire reality had shifted. But here's the key. It wasn't the external world that changed first. It was Mia. By practicing gratitude, she had shifted her energy, and in doing so, she aligned herself with abundance. She began to see and attract the very things she had been yearning for, not because she chased them, but because she became the kind of person who was open to receiving them. Now, you might be thinking, that sounds great for Mia, but will it work for me? The answer is yes. Gratitude is one of the most powerful tools for manifestation because it shifts your focus from what's missing to what's already present in your life. And when you focus on what's good, you attract more of it. This is not just a spiritual concept, it's a principle that's rooted in both psychology and energy. Neville Goddard taught that feeling is the secret. It's not enough to think about what you want, you must feel it. 
and gratitude is one of the easiest and most effective ways to tap into that feeling. When you practice gratitude, you are essentially telling the universe, I trust you. I believe that my needs are being met and I am open to receiving more. This shifts your entire vibration, aligning you with the frequency of abundance. Let me share another story, one that illustrates this even further. There was a man named Julian who had always struggled with money. No matter how hard he worked, it seemed like he could never get ahead. He was constantly stressed about paying bills and the weight of financial insecurity loomed over him every day. One day, a friend introduced him to Neville Goddard's teachings, particularly the idea that gratitude could transform his financial situation. At first, Julian was skeptical. How could being grateful for what little he had helped him make more money? But Julian decided to give it a try. Each day, he set aside time to practice gratitude. He expressed thanks for the small amounts of money he did have, for the roof over his head, for his ability to work. Even though his financial situation hadn't changed yet, he started to feel a sense of relief. The constant pressure began to ease, and he found himself worrying less. Then, one day, out of nowhere, he received a job offer for a higher-paying position. Shortly after that, an old investment he had forgotten about paid off, and within a few months, his financial situation had completely turned around. Julian realized that the real change had begun the moment he shifted his mindset. By practicing gratitude, he had stopped focusing on lack, and as a result, he opened the door for abundance to flow into his life. This is the power of gratitude. Now, I want to challenge you. For the next 10 days, I want you to commit to practicing gratitude. Every morning when you wake up and every night before you go to bed, take a few moments to express gratitude for the good things in your life. They don't have to be big things. Start with the small, simple things like your health, your home, your family, or even the fact that you have food to eat. One powerful way to ensure you stay consistent is to use a gratitude journal. Journaling allows you to keep track of the things you're grateful for and it deepens your connection to the feeling of appreciation. You can download the free gratitude journal I've provided in the description below to get started. Every time you write, begin with sentences like, I am so happy and grateful now that, or I feel really grateful for. And here's what's going to happen. At first, it might feel like nothing is changing, but keep going. Gratitude is like planting seeds. You don't see the fruit immediately, but with time, those seeds begin to grow. Writing down your gratitude in a journal helps reinforce the feeling, making it more tangible. The act of writing focuses your mind, grounding you in the moment, and helps you clearly see the good in your life. As you continue this practice, you'll start to notice subtle shifts. You'll feel lighter, more optimistic. You'll begin to see opportunities where before there were only obstacles. And then, before you know it, things will start to shift in your external reality. Gratitude isn't just about being thankful for what you already have. It's about aligning yourself with the energy of abundance, of possibility, of receiving. When you feel gratitude, you are tuning into the frequency of your desires already being fulfilled. You're no longer in a state of wanting, of lack, but in a state of having, of contentment. And that's when the magic happens. Use your journal as a reminder of the abundance already present and let it be the tool that helps you manifest more. As Neville Goddard said, the feeling of the wish fulfilled is the most powerful force in the world and gratitude is one of the most direct ways to access that feeling. When you live in gratitude, you are telling the universe that you are ready to receive more. And the universe always responds. So each day as you use your gratitude journal, begin with powerful phrases like, I am so happy and grateful now that I have financial freedom, or I feel really grateful for the loving relationships in my life. These simple, Yet profound affirmations will shift your energy, bringing you closer to the life you want to create. So I invite you to take this challenge. Start today. Begin your journey into gratitude and watch as your life transforms in ways you never thought possible. Remember, this is not about forcing things to happen. It's about becoming the kind of person who attracts what they desire naturally. Gratitude is the key. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into Neville Goddard's teachings and the power of manifestation. I would love to hear from you. What are you grateful for today? 
How will you use gratitude to manifest your dreams? Let's support each other on this journey of transformation. Until next time, remember, gratitude is everything. And something wonderful is on its way to you. Just keep believing. Never give up.